Hello and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of I Watch Things So You Don't Have To Because It's Mind Numbingly Stupid and You'll Throw Your Own Brain Out Because It's Jacob Chansley. Yeah, let's jump into this. For those of you who don't know who Jacob Chansley is or you've been living under a rock, Jacob Chansley is the QAnon shaman that was arrested on January 9th. Uh, it's also the same guy that demanded vegan food and wanted out because his tummy was bothering him and then was like, well, I would like to, I don't want to take the vaccine, so you have to let me out of jail. Nobody offered him the vaccine, so no. But he and his lawyer and his mother did an interview for um, CBS's 60 Minutes for their online, so it's 60 Minutes Plus, and it's on their Paramount app. I think you can also find the interview now on YouTube if you look for it. I'm not entirely sure. I watched it on the Paramount Plus app. But, um, it starts off with his lawyer, and then you see where they're, like, meeting in, like, the giant conference room, and then he comes in on a Skype call, which apparently the judge didn't know he was doing, and he's in solitary confinement, so I'm not even sure outside of meetings with your lawyer you're supposed to do that, and that might be why the judge is upset with him right now. But, um, Chansley tries to do a couple of things that I want to talk about, and then we're going to talk about his mom's Crazy Pants interview, because we're going to call them Crazy Pants and Crazy Pants' mom. So Crazy Pants comes into this interview and the first thing he tries to convince us is that A, he was nonviolent, and B, it wasn't an insurrection. It was just, you know, people wanting to be heard. Um, I watched the video with Jacob Chansley in it. I saw the message he left for Mike Pence. That was a threatening message. He was trying to threaten the vice president of the United States at the time. And I don't like Mike Pence, but I don't think you break into the Senate and threaten the vice president and then you get to say that you were being nonviolent. But he tries to say that. He tries to be like, well, I just went in and I made some noise and I said a prayer and I sang a song because that's part of my q and or that's part of my shamanness. First off, I don't know a whole lot about Native American culture. I'm working on teaching myself that right now. But I know for a fact that nothing Jacob Chansley did is connected in any way to Native American culture. He appropriated that into his crazy pants thing and it's creepy. And please stop appropriating other people's culture into your own creepy crazy pants stuff. It's just wrong. So then he tries to talk about, well, I was trying to keep people from vandalizing things. No, you weren't. We, we all saw the video. But he tries to use the excuse that he saved people from stealing muffins. Yeah. Muffins. Muffins. Do you know the muffin man? The muffin. Sorry. Um, I think the police would have preferred that you not be a pawn for the violent extremists who went there and tasered cops to the point they had heart attacks, bear sprayed them, beat them with their own, uh, shields, shoved them and got them stuck in doors to the point ribs were cracked, were yelling racial slurs. You, you can't claim that you weren't part of a violent insurrection when a bunch of cops were injured, one was killed, and five people total are now dead dead from it and he goes to this entire interview trying to act like he wasn't a part of that when there's literally video of him everywhere being a part of that and then to the degree in which his lawyer has to walk him through certain points there's literally a point in this interview where the lawyer is like I'm gonna do it in my mom voice why were you at the Capitol because Donald Trump told me to why or, or do you regret it i absolutely regret it just like he says he tried just like he said he regretted the fact that he made lawmakers afraid again you left a threatening note to the vice president of the united states while people were outside saying hang mike pence you don't get to say i feel deeply remorseful that they were afraid for their wives while you're like sending threatening messages to them that just seems like a bad abusive relationship to me then you find out his mom is just as crazy. Oh my goodness, this woman is crazy. Crazy pants mom. She tries to go through and say that, well, my son was bullied and he had a hard life. Lots of people are bullied. They don't invade the Capitol. I'm a ginger with an alcoholic dad who used to be a cop. I guarantee you, I can win the championship in bullying. I also go after white nationalists. They tend to bully me. You don't see me attacking the Capitol. Interesting. Um, she then tries to paint him as this just innocent little victim that walked through open doors 
and didn't have to go through, uh, who didn't have to go through the police barricades. Did you see the doors he was walking through? I did. They were broken through. I, I, we all watched them break those windows and force those doors open. And he came in in that first wave of people. So he knew damn well he wasn't supposed to be there. It wasn't just an open invitation. And when he says he was escorted around the Senate, if you watch the video, you will see from the New Yorker, if you watch the video from the New Yorker, you will see the cop is doing his best in overwhelming numbers to talk them down and get them out of the Senate. He's like, can we please just leave now? Why are you still in here? And then I'm like, well, why aren't you stopping us? Because there's one of me and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many of you? And he's worried that if he tries to pick something with these guys, they're going to get violent and they're going to hurt him. Given the fact that mob mentality, you know, they did end up beating a bunch of cops. I don't blame the cop, honestly, for being like, please leave and waiting for backup. I don't honestly blame him for that. <sighs> then she tries to go on with the election was stolen and they do everything they can, not to mention they're part of Q, both of them do, but they both stick, but they're still loyal to Donald Trump. Even though Donald Trump didn't grant them the pardon that they thought they were going to get. Yeah, these people actually thought they'd invade the Capitol, get a pardon from the president and be good to go. That, that's, that's what they thought. But he's still deeply loyal to Donald Trump and is absolutely convinced that, um, how should I put this? That the election was stolen from Trump and there's a cabal of baby eaters is basically what he said. The interview was insane. That's a basic summary of it. You can go watch it if you want. Um, I don't really think it's worth your time. You're just going to hear him acting like a child trying to make excuses for himself. But it is what it is. This is still the same man who wants out of prison because you can't go to the bathroom and it's Tommy Hurts and he needs vegan food. So, you know, what do you expect? All right, guys, I will see you later.